Another transport systems question is this one. Explain the roles of the atria and ventricles in the pumping of blood. So obviously this is talking about the heart, and we want to talk about, um, first of all, what, uh, what, what components there are of the heart. So first of all, that there are two atria, and there are two ventricles. Right atria, right ventricle. Left atria, left ventricle. Now let's talk about the atria themselves first. Where does the blood come from, from the atria? Now for the right atria, it comes from the vena cava, and for the left atria, it actually comes from the pulmonary vein. And this is just a brief overview once again. If you want more information on uh, the specific details, then have a look at some of my other videos. When atria fill, that is during contraction of the ventricles, they're opposite. So when the atria fill, the ventricles contract. When the atria contract, the ventricles fill, etc. Okay? So we were talking about the atria, we talked about a bit about when this occurs. The next thing we want to do is atrial where does atrial blood go to? And this is easy. Atrial blood drains into the ventricles. Left atria into the left ventricle, right atria into the right right ventricle. After we have these ventricles, um, after we have the blood filling the ventricles, rather, then the, the ventricles then need to deliver that, that blood away from the heart initially. So for the left ventricle, then that delivers blood to the rest of the body, whereas the right ventricle delivers blood to the, to the heart, to the, to the lungs rather, not the heart. Now, so that's a basic system that the... the uh, that the heart plump pumps to, and we can make a brief mention of the different valves that are there. So first of all, the atrioventricular valve, found between the atrium and the ventricles, and the semilunar valves as the blood exits the ventricles.